Good morning, guys. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm about to get started on this dog. Um, I'll show you guys what they look like in just a minute, but it is a free groom. I had made a post on Facebook just telling everybody that I needed, um, you know, or didn't need, but was looking for dogs that needed to be groomed. Either the owners can't afford it or the dogs just need it. Or, you know, I have a dog coming in, um, I believe tomorrow that they found the dog and the dog is super matted. So guys, please, when you see these videos, please don't be judgmental, okay? You don't know their situation. You don't know their life. You don't know what they're going through. Um, it is so easy nowadays for us to sit there and judge people when you have no idea what their actual life is like. So please be nice in the comments, okay? I mean, we can be hateful to each other all day long, but that doesn't get us anywhere. It doesn't get us anywhere. So I'm going to get started on this dog and I'll show you guys what they look like. All right, guys. This is what the dog looks like. We have severe matting back here. Like this is just one big mat. There's matting in here. Hey bud. Huh. Okay, so we're just gonna get started. We gotta shave all this off before we can bathe him. If we bathe, him before this is shaved off it makes the mats worse and you really don't get down to the skin to get it clean i'm going to go ahead and start with a 10. i know i've been starting with a 7 recently but i've just been having to go down to a 10 so i'm just going to go down to a 10. I did take before pictures already. This guy is so calm. It's nice compared to the last dog I just did. So why do I offer free grooms? Right now, COVID has hit people really hard. Some people have gone from being, you know, been able to afford dog grooming to not being able to afford it. You do not know this person's situation. You cannot judge someone unless you actually have met them and know them. I offer it because it is not healthy for the dog to be left in this condition. Yeah, dogs cannot be left in this condition. I do shave a lot of dogs and that mainly is because that is what the owners want. I am a comfort groomer. I am not a show groomer. I will never be a show groomer. I do grooms for the comfort of the dog to keep the dog comfortable. That's it. If your dog is matted, they will be shaved because that is what is best for the dog. It is not best for the dog for me to sit here and rake at this trying to keep this coat. If you as the dog owner do not have time or the ability to keep your dog brushed out and mat free, your dog needs to be shaved short. So it is low maintenance. Good boy, you're being really good. Yeah. 
So the purpose of this is just to get this coat off. Just get the matting off. You're okay. Switch blades. Have to switch blades frequently. It does get hot. Oh, that's a mess. Oof. Easy. Easy boy. This boy is intact. Um, so we have to be really careful when we're shaving down there. You're okay. He's showing his teeth. It is very matted in there. I'm gonna have to go down a blade to go down. I'm just gonna go down to a 30 because I just wanna get it off. I don't want to hurt him. You're okay, boy. He's licking his lips. That's a warning sign that, hey, I don't like what you're doing. I might bite. Okay, so that's one big solid mat. Easy boy, you're okay. Switch back to a 10. Can I do your face so you can see a little better? Hmm? And they feel and act so much different um, after the groom. They feel so much better and they act so much happier 
after the groom is done. Like, look at him. He looks freaking depressed. I mean, you, uh, well, it's not in this video, so. You look so different. I'm gonna take a picture real quick. Okay. Another thing I wanna talk about is people say all the time they need to be reported. You need to call animal control. Animal control is not going to do anything. They see the owner bringing them in for a grooming. They see that as trying to better the situation. Therefore, they're not going to do anything. So anyone who wants to say, you need to report them. Reporting does not do anything. And not only that, if I reported every single dog that came in like this, I would have no business because I would be hated. I would lose business if I reported dogs that came in like this. The people would not trust me. They would be like, oh, I can't take my dog to her. She's gonna report me and then I'm gonna get my dog taken away. So, I mean, there's some injuries, wounds down in here. You're so chill. And I, I, I thoroughly enjoy doing these grooms. I love it. To see this sad, down, depressed dog come in that turns into this good looking, happy, it's just, I love doing this. Like I'm in a groomers group and I see them just this is not a family friendly channel anymore, but just them bitching all the time about, oh, this, this doodle came in and it's matted and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, that's our job. If you don't want to groom nasty dogs, then go do something else. Find another career.
You're okay, bud. You're so tiny. Oh my goodness. Hi. Nice to meet you. Now that I can see your face. Huh. You're so calm. It's pretty matted around his testicles. Um, have to be really careful. Come here, bud. Easy boy. You're okay. The 30 blade. You're okay, bud. All right, so now we're gonna turn him. He's so sweet, he's so gentle, calm. His pin sometimes comes out. You're okay. Oh, 
and go down to a 30. Switch back to a 10. This is one of those dogs that if it needed a home, I would take it. It's so chill. You're so chill. It's crazy. Gonna do the ears real quick and then we'll get him in the bathtub. His ears are pretty dirty. They're gonna have to be flushed. I wanna try to get all this hair out that I can. So if we don't get this out, it causes infection, can cause infection, doesn't allow to, the ears to breathe.
There's a bunch. I'm going to have to put my headlight on so I can see this. It's probably going to be too bright for you guys to see. Um, but I've got to be able to see in there and see how much is left. Get all that hair out. If this was a big dog, I'd be able to just use my fingers, but I can't. These are called hemostats. They're not sharp. I'm not cutting the hair. So we're going to get him in the tub. I'm going to flush those ears out really good. Okay, come on, buddy. I got the, the ear cleaners over here. We're just gonna flush these ears and I'll explain to you guys what I mean. This is ear cleaner. Never use anything besides ear cleaner. Okay, we're just gently squeezing some of that ear cleaner in there. We're gonna rub it around. And then do it again. And it's just flushing all that dirt and stuff out. Let's go back, bud. Okay, we're gonna do this here. Never, ever, ever, ever use anything besides dog ear cleaner. Okay, so while the dog is drying and stuff, that'll sit in there and do its magic. And then when we're done and he's dry, we can get those. Buddy. All right, that right there is why you have to have your dog strapped in with a loop. I have super quick reflexes because it's not the first time or the last time that a dog is going to try to do something. Um, and also, I uh, my senses are super, super on high alert when I'm grooming a dog. You have to be able to read body language. I could see that he was about to jump out, so that's the reason I caught him. And I am gonna, you know, that's left in the video. I'm not gonna hide something from you guys. Like, I'm as real as it's gonna get. And if you don't like me, then you don't have to watch me. Most groomers would not put that in there. No other groomer would leave that in their clip. But it's real life, guys. I'm going to show you what us groomers go through.
I'm not using the blueberry facial on him. The, this is good enough. Just gonna get him clean, scrub him up. Do the anal glands. even feel any anal glands on him. I do need to get that clean. Okay. Now we're gonna rinse. Pick him up and we're gonna take him to the cage dryer. Don't need to use the high velocity dryer because he's so short. He won't take long at all to dry in here. Huh, he's so sweet. He's so sweet. Stay, 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 stay. Again, these cages are temperature regulated. If they get too hot, they shut off. These are not the old school where dogs were dying in the drying cages. If these get above a certain temperature, they shut off. When he gets done, or when he's dry, we'll get him finished. All right, guys, back with the poodle. Okay, so we're gonna take, and now you guys see that big dog over there. I just did him and he won't get in the cage and I'm not gonna fight him to get in the cage because he's 175 pounds. That'll be the next video coming up. You guys will want to watch that video because he has a skin condition that I talk about. Some good information. Easy. This way, this way.
seen a lot of ear infections today. Buddy. Sorry guys, he's licking himself. Buddy. <whistles> Can you stop doing that? No? All right. Sweet. These nails are right at the end. Matted in there. Tolerate the Dremel. You're fine.
Wear a mask when you're using the Dremel. You don't want to breathe that in. Okay, turn him back around. We're going to just trim these feet up the best we can. Buddy, can you stop please? No, no, no. So cute. Get you a bandana. Hmm. I'm gonna put all this stuff over here. You know what that is, don't you? little doggy cologne and he is all done so here's what he looks like <gasps> you look so much better you look like a brand new dog so that's it thanks guys for watching if you haven't checked out the links down below please do we are switching from winter stuff to summer stuff for the outreach the link is down below if you have no idea what i'm talking about um, we have a youtube channel just dedicated to the outreach it is also down below and um, i just want to say a big big huge huge thank you to everyone that has donated stuff off of the wish list and has donated money without you we would not be able to help all these people each week so thank you thank you thank you and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching